What's up, everybody? Cyanic Jade here, and today we will be playing Off Peak. Uh, it's a strange game. I've never played it before, but I typed in weirdest games on stream, and that was one of them. I really like weird games, so hopefully it's weird. Hopefully you enjoy, and please enjoy the video. Okay, so I started the game, and it put me right in here. Uh, I don't know whether to use mouse and keyboard or the controller. So I'm gonna use the controller to start off and hope that. Okay. Never mind. I'm gonna use the mouse and key. The, the only reason I don't like using the mouse and key is because you can hear it really bad. Because I don't have my mic. I, I don't know how to work the sensitivity and everything yet. So, all right. Shift is run. Mouse click around. Left click and around. Okay. So I've heard this game is really weird. Hey man, what is that? Um, I'm not surprised. The city is too much sometimes, and I know you want to get on the train to Row Rowway Town, Row Rowayton. Well, you're in luck, my friend. I had a train ticket all ready to go. Marcus hooked it right up. I'm not going anywhere, so it's all yours. But it's screwed up again. The train ticket's in tatters. Pieces fell out of my jacket and scattered around the station. Believe me, I know train tickets aren't cheap these days. But you'll find the pieces. I know you gotta catch that train. I believe in you. Ha! And the people you meet here, they won't be able to help you directly. But they may still want to talk. Others maybe not. In either case, you might find them musings insightful. Or not. The circus. The way... They treat those giants. They're just happy to take that circus money. All that time and energy spent. What a waste. And people think I'm in a huff because the circus didn't ask me to perform. Ha! Marcus. A born tycoon. He runs a station like a virtuoso. The fact that he lets me hang around. Why does he give me the tickets to faraway towns? When only commuters can afford them now. I've known Marcus for 15 years and I'm still learning from him. Whatever he does, it works. For him and his station. Okay, and then it starts over. That was interesting. Citywide subway service suspended. Consider transport alternatives. S swimming? <laughs> okay. Oh, look at this. This is really cool looking. These clouds look really nice, even though they're not moving. They still look cool. So I've heard this game takes about 30 minutes to complete. I'll probably do it. Some people talk to you, others talk amongst themselves. I'll probably do it in two parts or something. Get close to objects to activate, use or take them. So I have to find the pieces of the train ticket. But can I just take the boat, like it said? This game is really dark. I wish I, I don't know how to bring it up. Like I can barely see. I can't see anything because it's over there. Okay, there's a lot of people talking right now. Well, one to the status quo. It's in the air. We have to start taking action. Action! Total action! The time is now. Now. Right now. We can make a difference. Believe it. I totally believe it. Alright, so she's just kind of preaching. He won't talk to me. He won't talk to me. Look at him. He's chilling. He looks very sad. What about him? He to me? No, these these men are very tall. I'm short. I'm short. Here's a what? <laughs> <laughs> well, hello there. Your cheeks? A little blue. Okay. Yes. Alright. I don't know how to feel anymore. This is really pretty actually. 
But, I mean, this game is free, so... I like the mu the music is really cool too. Just a piece of ticket. Press I to show or hide this ticket. Okay, so I have to find all the pieces to it. This is me. There's a whale. Two headed snake pizza music. This soundtrack is really cool. Honey, I'm home. Why is it having more creepy glasses in this game? Look at her fingers. Alright. So these triplets, they don't want to talk to me either. Are we... Are we in a fish tank? Yeah, I'm just waiting for my train. Yeah, I had ramen. Uh, yeah, that's great to hear. I just bought some new sheet music for you. Yeah, the clerk told me it was a difficult piece, but I'll learn it in a few weeks. Yeah, I know you like difficult music. This weekend? Not sure if trains are going to be running in the city. Yeah, I think I'm going to lay low instead. I know, but it was a rough one. The circus has really been a pain in my booty. I know, way too much. It's like they show up and the whole city stops functioning. The giants aren't doing their jobs. It's a total joke. No, you definitely don't want to be here. I think the circus has some kind of arrangement with the city. So, there's a big circus that comes to town, is what I've gathered so far. Okay, so there's a lot of pieces of this ticket. Hey, Bojud, how much? Are... You can see that the price is right here in the corner of the front page. Wow, that much? That's higher than what my price guide indicated, but I will have to do. So you're a singer. My wife has been singing for about a year now. Look at his finger, he's like, my in-laws are coming this weekend. This should make for an enjoyable weekend indeed. Creepy. Very good, I'll ring you up then. Hello there. Oh, he'll talk to me. It's the same old story, I'm afraid. Musicians selling their prize sheet music on consignment. Easy money for them, the way the market is going. Most of the players have had to memorize all this by now anyway. The saxophone pieces are from the same guy whose vinyl collection found its way to Sh Shaney over there, and the cello player, not really sure about her. Honestly, I can't complain about my record sales. The sheet music practically sells itself. The business just keeps getting bigger. This is a lot of reading and talking. You done? Oh my gosh, dude. I don't have money though. He's creepy. I don't have money. How am I supposed to pay for it? If I take all of them... Do I, am I not allowed to board the train? Okay, I don't have my ticket ready, so I can't board yet. Am I on a time limit? So far, nothing significant has happened. Lost, last train boarding on track five. Oh great, it's you. I know all about you. I know you definitely don't have the money for a ticket. Excuse me? That was rude. You're not the first one Luke has helped out, you know. You're lucky I don't call that guard standing over there. Look, I'm not being rude, just get out of my face. Okay, So Luke has you looking for his ticket pieces, eh? No matter how many ticket markets gifts him, Luke can't bring himself to leave here. Well, consider your situation, I might be able to steer you in the right direction if you're so inclined. I know Luke likes to frequent the fine dining establishments here, even though the merchants would rather stay far, far away. But he's been chummy with Marcus forever, so they put up with it. I overheard that Luke snuck out of the rather long and drawn-out board game at Serp's Bar. Marcus yelled at Luke daily for loitering on the, loitering on the observation deck. Luke likes to butter with the biggest room for This is a lot of reading.
more people? <laughs> uh, I'm intrigued by this. seven in my backyard. Cool. <laughs> I can roll it anywhere that needs a party, but the price has got to be right always. Okay. My, piece of, my pies excite. That's just a known fact. You probably know I worked at Blue Kali. So there you go. Yeah. I built a seven in my backyard. Okay, we start our piece. He's uh, interesting. Can I eat? What happens if I eat all this pizza? Oh, hello. I'm gonna eat everything. Sorry, you know your pizza. Don't even need money, you gotta go away. It's a little weird, I mean, he worked at Blue Collie. Is he Barco's right hand man? Yeah, something must have happened. Why, does the pizza suck? I read there was a falling out. I just ate a bunch of it. It was fine, I thought. Where's the... Where, on a pizza gossip blog? Look at her lipstick. I like this music. You're gonna get in trouble now. We're gonna tell security. Nope. I'm running away. I see another ticket over there. There's doors. There are, This game is interesting. I don't really understand a lot of it, but... Yes! Someone dropped these records off a few days ago. Said they belonged to the DJ or sex player or something. She's the most normal looking person I've met so far. He had to downsize. Shame for him, but I'm not too surprised. Marcus screens all my recordings, but I found no fault with this batch. 100% quality. Is Marcus the circus leader or the ringmaster or whatever? I don't know why Luke helps people like you out. Do I look strange or something? Do I look like a hobo? Like, people keep making fun of me. Every morning I hear him playing out on the waterfront. Honestly, I wish I could throw his lap steel into, like, that's what it's called. Lap steel. I mean, I think he's a good player. I just like oboes better. Okay. Marcus tells me, oh, the commuters always want something new to put in, on at diner time. That's why he sent me up right here to get... Get in their way so they can buy all these records. One sale and I'm set for at least two months. Just one sale. Right now I'm just trying to sell records to the lucky few who can afford them. Half these people don't even have a record player and they're my best customers. Is everyone enjoying the thrill of acquiring new things? <sighs> I'll take one. Ooh, famous. Giant single. Is there really a curse on the Kennedy family? The question is answered in the day. Wait, that one looks cool. All of human origin. That one looks cool. All of these, are these real records? I'm scared if I take too many, I won't be able to get on the train because I'll um, be like... You know, I'm over here. So what's the whale mean? Oh, I didn't even notice that. This place is cool. This is a cool train station. Do I have a flashlight or something? It's very dark in here. I don't know about this. I do not know. 
I keep getting stuck on the stairs. They keep getting more strange as you progress. Alan for what? Oh! What the is she holding? Is it all? Alright, you have fun with that, buddy. Um, he's probably gonna be found dead later. But. Are these ending? Do they ever end? Yes? Is that the end of them? It's so freaking dark, I can't. Another ticket! Who's this? What is she doing? She doesn't know I'm waiting for her. She could enter from anywhere, so this is the best place to keep a lookout. I've been waiting for a long, long time. I'm told she passes through the station around this time every day, but I can never seem to find her. Red hair and an orange dress could spot her from anywhere. And yet, if by some unlikely chance you meet her, please don't tell her I'm looking for her. In fact, you never saw me. I will say not a word. Don't you worry about it. I think I can't tell if I have one or two pieces left. Can I go around? Literally? Run faster. This person runs slow. I have to go all the way back down those stairs. Are you for real? Oh my gosh, that actually. Like my my stomach hurt. That's a really creepy one. Hi. I'm sweating. They scared the crap out of me. I think I'm on drugs. Chinese food. I can get down with that. I used to be a viola player. <laughs> Do these people just have random strangers approach them and they just start telling them about their past life? If I walked up to someone in a restaurant and they said, I used to be a viola player, I'd be like, cool. I was first chair, first stand in my country youth orchestra. My county, not country. But I have my eye on the conductor's podium. Things being how they are, I still might. Is it viola or viola? But making ramen became a way to channel this old desire. The noodles are my string section. Each strand of my contextual unified sonority. Pork or chicken, the brass section. The protein of any meat is powerful and tonally dominant sustenance. Woodwinds are the glue of an orchestra, and so too are shallots, cabbage, spinach, seaweed, and my lawn. Each leaf providing a nutritious unifaction to the dis disparate elements in the bowl of boiled egg, a timpani, timpani of more protein, corn kernels, harp section. My broth is music, these instruments mix together, soup solely for over 24 hours. Miso, cakes, chili powder, show you off the the key signature. When you eat this, you're setting the tempo with each slur hot sauce, controlling the dynamic spread dollops, and you're dealing with forces among each bite and few more men who in the bit. Okay, was that it? <sighs> Birthday cake ramen. Can I just get my tickets and get out of here? <coughs> <coughs> I am so sorry. But <sighs> all right, I'm gonna find my last ticket and get the heck out of here because these people are weird. Looking at me all evilly. So those triplets just teleporting me back down? Just cuz? Is this is this the man, the one dude? Through my tireless work, we just ranked number two most enjoyable transit hub in the region, according to Travelers Quarterly. And number one, unimportant to me. 
I got solicitations from businesses all over the city begging to have a piece of real estate here. These businesses trade down you know, sales, charts, press clippings, and bribes. But I just laugh in their face. They don't get that. I'm a curator. I deem each business worthy of the needs and taste of my customers. All these businesses will do equally, but I do not care. The taste of the rooms of my customers are what's important to me. Screw all else. My ticket lady, Beatrice. She's a good friend of mine. She's probably the best at what she does in this whole city, actually. In every customer satisfaction survey I've ever given, she gets top one. Really? Because she was a really rude person to me. So, I would have given her a zero. Considering the needs of my customers are very specific and demanding, I keep all this in mind when dealing with my dear friend. Oh my gosh, you guys talk forever. What about me? Why do you guys keep judging me? Why do you always go to me? Rowway to him anyway. Is it the visit relatives, sealed friends? Do they appreciate the sacrifice you make to get there? It's probably not my business to ask this stuff, but you travel through my station. You interact with my people, my business, which in turn becomes your business. Luke won't be around forever, you know. You'll have to pay your own way then, or get one way ticket. So I guess I'm a. I guess I'm a pretty known face here that people don't like for whatever reason, who just don't like me, you know? Okay, so I went through the creepy stairs last time. Let's see what's, is this a club? There's my last ticket keys. Hmm. Oh, are these other games by the developers? Maybe? Alright, I could just be guessing. What are they, are they playing? Nope, that's not Pokemon. Dang, these guys are massive! You need ice that has medium strength and will slow me down more effectively. I'm sorry, Tiffany, you're such a server. Somebody tell me what game this is. Why are you sniffing your cards? Look how tiny these guys are! Are they the giants everyone's referring to? Is it, oh, is this a video game? That looks like Civilization's board, but it's not Civilization. She's very intensely staring at this chair. I'm... I need another one! <sighs> hey man, can I, do you know where, the, where I can find this last ticket, please? Am I rushing through this? Okay, there was another staircase to my right, I think, and I went left. No, there's not. Right. Where else did I go? I thought I went everywhere. My face is itching. My hair is on my face. I need one more ticket piece. This is where I was teleported by those freaky witches. Look over here. Oh, are these stairs down to somewhere? Ah, is there a ticket down here? Wait, who are you? Oh. Well, hello. If you listen closely, you can hear the size of old trains long abandoned. They make these long, slow, deep tones all day. Yep, you look like someone that would listen to that kind of stuff. Ooh. I'm not eating any more of anything I find. I was just drugged. Maybe there was something in that pizza. I can't see anything. I can't. Literally, I can't see anything because. Your screen looks black too. Oh, well, let me go any further this way. Oh, well, let me go anyway at all. 
I have the sun in my face right now, so. Yeah, I'm not eating any more of your crab. Ooh. Aha! A shrine to this man. Okay, I'm li- Are you serious? Do I need those two little tiny pieces? I would like to leave this place now. Where else do I need to go? I'm gonna see if Beatrice will let me, let me go now. All right, Beatrice, I have my whole ticket. Ticket. God. Track five. Will they let me on? The music changes every time you go somewhere else. I like this one. Ooh, is there more little pieces back here? Stuff. I think the soundtrack in this game is freaking awesome. Alright, I'm ready to board now. Very good. Now, if you just board the train on my right here. What? That ticket was meant for Luke, not you. At first I was okay with this little arrangement, but now I'm having a change of thought. Especially considering your sticky fingers with my merchants here. Stole nothing. I was going to pay for it when I got on the train. Just taking things with wanton abandon like you own the place. You're a bold one indeed. But now it's time for you to sell out, my friend. And considering your financial situation, we may have to get a little creative. Yvonne always saying he needs another hand behind that robin counter because considering that you owe for that ticket along with everything else you require. I actually see this as a golden opportunity for you. Guards, kindly remove this maker from the train platform. <sighs> That's the girl! Wait, okay. <laughs> what the heck are you doing here, Muriel? Is she in cahoots with the triplets? See, this is the boat I wanted to take at the beginning! The circus welcomes you. Well, this was an interesting game. Uh... <laughs> It was actually really, really interesting. Strange. But not actually as weird as I was imagining. I really don't even know what else to say about it. Except the soundtrack was really cool. And it just quits. Okay, well... Hopefully you guys thought that was weird, but in a good way. Weird can be awesome. So hopefully you liked it. If so, please like and subscribe. I plan to do more stuff like this. I've been uploading every other day, so expect that. Uh, thank you all so much, and I will see you all in the next video.